What's up everybody? I'm Jeremy from Weld Tech Designs and we are at it again. What are we doing? Right there, that says it all. I love these Jayco's. These things are awesome. There's so many things about them that I really, really like. There's also some things that I don't like about them. Um, but you know, we fixed most of the things that I don't like on them in this today. And I'm going to show you exactly what we did. So if you have a Jayco, make sure you grab a drink, grab some popcorn and a snack. We're going to jump into some fun RV facts. So before we even get into all of the killer things that we did to improve the suspension, the ride, the height, and all of the problems that usually come with a Jayco or any Class C RV as a matter of fact, let's talk about this because this is just pure sexiness up on the front of this. This is our Baja pre-runner bumper and you may not see this in a lot of other ones, but check out this awesome recessed light force light tucked behind the skid plate on there. That's gonna be really nice if you need you know, more light, heck, on the highway off-roading, this light force light is going to give you a lot of light and that is a big plus when you're driving such a big vehicle. Well, while we're down here, not only changing out the bumper, you can see up here we also changed out the grill and got rid of the chrome as much as the chrome looks you know neat um, just not on an rv that's my opinion you may not agree but i would love to hear what you guys think of this baja pre-runner bumper dude and this blackout grill something so simple but we didn't stop there blacking out stuff i got something else this is what is really cool is we take the chrome hubcap we powder coat them black it's going to give them a really nice finish and the big benefit in doing that over buying wheels is cost we're not really trying to spend all of your money this is a less expensive alternative to doing that and another big deal is is if you're going to do custom wheels a lot of times you're going to have to run a different wheel on the front and on the rear so when it comes to having a spare tire you're going to have to have two different spare tires and who wants to take up all that valuable space carrying two spare tires on a motorhome so this is a nice option your spare is still going to work at all six points on there and then this is just a nice hubcap that goes on the outside simple and nice and if you want to do, buy these we have them on our website i will put all of the links to the products that we talk about today down below check them all out so now let's jump into the most exciting pow part about this RV and that's going to be the suspension lift kit that we installed on it. As you can see here I have an enormous amount of room between the hydraulic the bottom of the hydraulic jack and the ground and that is going to be a plus because we don't want you ripping these off your coach and we know that that's going to happen if you want to get off grid have some fun and um, you know this is after all the off-grid lift kit so you gotta have clearance so in order to get all this lift out of this we did change out the coil springs in there and went to a bigger coil spring the biggest plus about this coil spring is it does have a higher spring rating on it as well so it's going to carry your load a lot better reducing the amount of sway that your rv has in order to help also with that sway is we added a set of Fox shocks to the front of it in order to control it as all those bumps, dips, and potholes that you're going to hit on the highway will also dampen that, giving you a really nice ride. The next part about this lift kit is the extended radius arms. Those extended radius arms are really nice because they're going to be about nine inches longer than stock. They're also more equal to your I-beam length and what that's going to do is help reduce caster. Caster is your best friend. When driving down the highway, it helps your vehicle go straight. We've also included the new brackets and new bushings that will allow you to scoot your wheel a little bit farther forward in the wheel well. So just in case you want to go to a bigger tire like this one, this is a 235-85-16 tire, and this looks really nice on this RV. I'll talk more about why this size tire is important when we get to the back of this the last thing we did is a set of modified beams and then wait wait no there's still one more thing guys we also added the fox steering stabilizer to the front of this which really helps out the steering 
these things are all going to be your best friend and putting all these things together that's going to make our six inch off-grid lift kit this thing is just a beast let's go take a look at what we did in the back you can see that you have a ton of clearance in here now something i want to give you a little tip if you have a RV and it could not be lifted already, but I really want you to take a look at here and see the damage that was done from the Adelie. So this on the Jayco comes with the Helwig helper springs on there. The Helwig helper springs are intended to help um, give you a better ride and more weight carrying capacity because the stock springs do are really just not enough um, for the weight when you get into these bigger coaches like this is a 29 foot coach um, It is really heavy, you know coming in at almost 10,000 pounds in the rear weight and those springs just aren't enough So they add the Helwig helper springs on them to get it to a height in order to sell it to you and get it off the lot As you can see we have now put our giant massive progressive leaf springs in here. These things are really big um, and they're going to hold the weight of your coach better there's also all the arc is built into the spring, so there's no need for additional um, springs on there. A lot of times people will want to put the Helwig helper or the Helwig sway bar on the back. This particular customer was looking for something to do to improve the overall ride. They did run the Helwig um, rear sway bar on there, so we did leave it on there. However, I will tell you that with this lift kit, you don't need any of these aftermarket gimmicks um, to make your ride better. It's just going to perform awesome um, when you get it back from us. One other thing is if you're going to do this kit as well at home, you will need to add some spacers on your drive shaft. And as you look underneath there, you'll see that we did space those down and I'll even jump in. I'm gonna crawl, I'm getting, I'm dedicated to showing you guys this guys. So you can see right in here, we have had to add this spacer in here in order to bring the drive shaft down. What we want is a straight line going all the way back to your rear. And you can see up at the front, we've also added some quarter inch shims on that first drive shaft. So depending on your RV, how long it is and how many carrier bearings, that's what this is, how many carrier bearings you have, you may need to shim the carrier bearings down in order to reduce the vibration that you may get when putting a lift kit like this from Weld Tech Designs on your vehicle. It's not a problem, just want to show it to you. And uh, if you guys have more questions about aligning your drive shaft, comment down below. I will make you a whole video on how to align your drive shaft. We were talking tires and why this size tire is really important on your RV. Of course, I know guys, you want to run big tires on your RV. I mean, who doesn't? But as you can see, the gap in the middle of this is very minimal. We don't want these tires rubbing together. And that's why we like this 235 85 16 tire is there's still clearance on the bottom and they're not gonna rub together. You can still run lower tire pressure on there. They might come together just a little bit, but usually you're not at higher speeds when doing that. So it's not going to uh, be detrimental to the tires. I mean, that's it. I mean, this is the whole lift kit. I know that if you do have questions, comment below, but now is the fun part of this video is that uh, we're gonna go talk to the customer find out why they decided, why the heck did they put a lift kit on their RV and uh, take them for a ride, let's go. So we had so much fun talking about all the fun stuff that we did to this, but really it means nothing if this guy is not impressed by what we did because he's the one that has to pay for it. But obviously we're, there was a reason that even brought you here in the first place. I mean, you have this beautiful RV. It should have just been fine. I mean, didn't the, the dealer, the salesperson didn't tell you you needed to do this to it, no, right? No, of course not. So what led you to this craziness here at Weld Tech Designs? Trying to park it in my driveway. Your driveway? Yeah, just trying to get it into the driveway on oh, the side Oh, so of the I house. get it. So you're the rich guy that lives high up on the hill then looking down on all of us, right? No, that's not me. It's just California. Everybody's yeah. got a, I mean, heck, we got to, you probably would have dragged coming into our driveway I here. Did. Oh, see? I did. I, I mean, 
In fact, coming here, I dropped a snap pad, leaving a gas station at the grapevine. So just everywhere you go. Pretty much. And that's what we tell people. I mean, don't get me wrong. A lot of people, I think when you go and you buy an RV, you don't think that you're going to have to do anything. You don't really realize that the jacks do hang down so low, you know, and it shouldn't be an issue. However, it obviously is. It was, yeah. And definitely, you know, my wife walked in this RV and this was the one she wanted. So as soon as we had that problem, it was real easy to convince her to spend the money. See, there's the real boss. She's just hanging out <laughs> over there. See, we always get them, you know, but so now we got it lifted, but we went a step further. We put a bumper on mm -hmm. the front of it because you got to have it. I mean, I'm with you. And then we blacked it out, which I think looks amazing. I mean, I wish we would have got like his initial reaction, but he snuck up, snuck in and actually got to see it before. So I was watching on Facebook all the oh, little build so, pictures. Oh, and, so yeah. Taylor was giving it away already. Yeah. But that's the thing is I love how these Jayco's are black, except it does have the chrome mirrors and some other weird badge on it. I don't really know what that is too, but let's go have some fun and let's go drive it, right? All right, let's do it. Let's go. So this did have this Hellwig helper springs on the back of it. Um, and you ended up, did it come with the sway bars or did you put the heavy No, duties? it came with the sway bars. Okay, so that was something that they did. Yeah. Um, I know that that's a, we don't see that actually on a lot of the Jayco's coming, you know, with the sway bars. I know the big thing is the amount of sway you get in the turns and if we can plan this just right. Wow. So this is the fun turn because there's a dip So how fast would you normally go? Around a turn like this? Yeah. Not this fast. <laughs> oh, jeez. Wow. Oh, she's hiding in the back. You're hiding dude. in the back? What did you think of that? <laughs> oh, that's incredible. I couldn't do that. So, and then like driveways, obviously we talked about dragging. This doesn't have that, but still just feeling, this is our little like test route, but. Oh yeah, you could never do that. No, that would be, that would have been bad. And I think that that's another thing is not only are we helping out the suspension, but really we're helping out the coach because, I mean, I do hear some things moving around back there, but uh, you know, you're not abusing the coach because the coach isn't taking all the abuse of the, um, you know, of the road. Yeah, no, I can definitely feel a huge difference. So another fun turn. So it doesn't matter which way you go. Yeah, I couldn't turn like that. And you can feel I, like you do still get it, but it, it settles out. Really another quick. thing too is like just the overall sway, like it sways, but then it's not like where it's gonna keep. I always say I kind of drive them like a sports car and you can see I kind of do. Yeah, well you're, yeah. I wouldn't be comfortable doing that yet, but I'll get there. This right here, you, I could never go over something like it was the slow, having to go in an angle, and it would still scrape. Sorry, I didn't notice it. Oh wait, that's because it's lifted now. That's right. You can't even tell how fast you're going right now. Well, we're going to be off a little bit right now. It says we're doing like 55, but we're we're going to probably be about eight to ten miles an hour slower on your speedometer. Okay. Because of the larger tires. Right. So we're probably doing about 75 right now. Wow. And I mean like. I mean, I'm, you know, like this isn't. This isn't no more like. Yeah. Ah! It's cruising. So something else to consider when lifting your RV is this step. You can see that now you have a ton of room there. If you don't do that step though, that first step is quite a large one. However, with that double step on there, you're going to see still have a nice bit of clearance under there, but it's going to be making it just so nice to get in. And that's what it's all about. We got to make sure we keep our wives happy. They go in and out easy, no problem. Because I will tell you the biggest problem is when you lift this and you're inside and you forget that it's lifted and you open the door and you go to step out and it's another, it's like a foot, you're like eating it and chances of injury are 
So this is, I'm saving you doctor visits right there too, guys. Look at that. So nice. Does have a button on the inside too, so you can turn it off. So you can just leave it out when you're at your campground. So now let, let's go hear from Jim. So what do you think? I mean, like you said, it's definitely an investment. But now after driving in it, could you really go back to no, stock? Couldn't go back. No Not way. at all. Even, and even the boss, the back, Cameron, back could there. you go back to the way it was? That's this guy's fault. Sorry, you know, I just forget what I'm driving. These things drive so much fun. I just think I'm in a van. So this is it. A ton of stuff went into this, um, you know, success. I mean, I think right on. I'm very happy. He's happy. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. We talked about it a bunch, had all kinds of stuff. If you have any questions about anything we talked about, leave a comment down below. I'll be happy to answer them. Or if it's a really great comment, maybe we'll even make a video about it. But otherwise, I know you're here. You got some information. Smash that subscribe button and give this video a big thumbs up. Otherwise, I'm Jeremy from Wild Tech Designs, and I'll see you in the next video.